The reason people go to watch any sporting event is because it hasn't yet happened, it hasn't been created. No one knows what's going to happen. It's a spontaneous thing. So it's the opposite of a product. And if you try and polish that too much, you're in danger of losing something. Sport has that way of conferring immortality on its participants. Be it Rory McIlroy or be it a kid who just wants to someday kick a goal in a local league, it might mean as much to him or her in later life as winning the Masters. There's a thrill that comes with that. So that's what I like about it. It is a privilege to be able to write about different sports, boxing, athletics, swimming, basketball, soccer, rugby, GAA, everything except cricket. <laughs> I think it keeps your perspective fresh. I've always been drawn to sports people who are kind of fearless in the way they present themselves and in the way they go about expressing their talent. It's exciting to be able to write down what he or she said, knowing that people are going to really enjoy connect them with that. Hopefully you give people who may be interested in that person a clear idea of who they are. And I mean, really what you want to do is, is make them read on. <laughs> what do you do when you're a child? You play, you run, you race, you might bounce the ball. It always goes back to that. So Christian, I want you posting up high. Neil out top with the ball or Rory out top with the ball. Doesn't matter. Going out onto a field or a, a track or, or into a gym. I enjoy the openness of the kids and I enjoy watching them make some tiny step forward in their own way. Just the pure, unabashed delight that comes into their faces. It's unbeatable. <laughs> you kind of become a kid yourself again for a wee while, I think. What I like about Irish Times sports coverage is that it abides by a set of core values, which I like. That makes me proud. Like there is, we've always said that there is no right or wrong way to play yeah, football. That's the beauty about it. Um, the potential for sports journalism within the digital world is immeasurable. I love reading pieces online. Very often they come with a video clip or they may have um, a link to something else and you know, you can disappear down a rabbit hole before you know it. It's, it's really exciting. What makes a great sports stadium? It's kind of hard to define. It's rarely the architecture. Some are like Clonus. What really appeals to me about it is that it's outside of time. The ritual is the same. People have been walking up that hill for 60, 70 years. It's not really just about the game that's been played there. It's about the games that were played 50 years ago and that hopefully will be played 50 years in the future. And you kind of get the feeling when you're in there, the rest of the world just falls away. And I think there's something great about that. I remember hearing John McGarren being interviewed on the radio. He said this thing, today is the whole show. Days that can become magical for people, they stay sharp and associated with certain times in people's lives. They literally don't forget them. That's a very strong part of what makes sport special for people.